Dr. Anupam Kotwal is one of the bright minds at Nebraska Medicine in Omaha, an endocrinologist specializing in thyroid cancer. In medicine, I kind of gravitated more towards endocrinology. I felt that it fit my personality. I like solving problems and puzzles and things like that, which there's a lot of that in endocrinology, dealing with hormones. But this February, his perspective on those puzzles changed dramatically. The lymph nodes were located in this area. He and his colleagues had just received this new ultrasound machine to be used to screen future patients. They tested it on themselves to see how well it worked. That's when I put it on my neck. And the, my first thought was, oh, this, there's something wrong with this attachment here. I don't know what this is showing. Or maybe I've just been working out too much. There's these muscles that look thick. I mean, it was pretty clear at that time that there is something ugly looking in my, the left side of my neck. On the screen, a solid bright mass. Dr. Cotwall had accidentally detected the very same thyroid cancer he treats in patients in his own neck. The initial reaction is denial, and I've witnessed that when we sometimes tell a patient that. Even while looking at my colleagues' faces, I knew that this is a, a suspicious lymph node. Tests confirmed it was cancer and at a critical stage. It had not spread anywhere else, and it was would be a critical point because the next step where it spreads, if it's left untreated or undiagnosed from the lymph nodes, usually would be the lungs. Dr. Kotwal immediately started treatment, surgery to remove his lymph nodes and radioactive iodine to address any residual growth. His colleagues became his caregivers. Everybody really rallied around him and he showed a tremendous amount of resilience. Dr. Zephyr Syed performed his surgery. I think Dr. Kotwal has, has bounced back incredibly well. He is back to the same person we kind of know and love here. Kotwal's program director now became his treating physician. It's a hard thing to be able to step back and say, well, I'm an expert in this field, but I'll let other people, you know, try and, you know, give me their recommendations about what's best. So I think he's done a really nice job of saying, okay, I'm going to let you guys advise me on what are the next steps. I think I'm a very good patient. Um, I let her kind of give her input on how things would be managed. And I remember the nurse who took care of me, she said that I am the least worst doctor to have as a patient. So I'll go with that. Dr. Kotwal is still getting his regular checkups and easing back into his active lifestyle that includes climbing, CrossFit, and concerts. He says the whole experience has made him a more empathetic doctor. I feel that I can relate to the patients, not only like early on when things could, have, could be really bad and all, but even long term, this happened to me, I'm gonna use it in a way that can help other people. If my story helps patients in any way, that's great. Wow. So, Kate, this wow. is such a wild story. In hindsight, did he see any warning signs? So it's interesting. He was telling us that usually with this kind of cancer, the main sign is swelling in the mm -hmm. neck. But because you heard he's a CrossFit guy, he mm -hmm. works out all the time. He has large neck muscles, oh. and the cancerous lymph nodes were sort of lodged behind his neck muscles. So he mm -hmm. didn't see the telltale signs that you should look for. So there you go. He I mean, wow. That was, yeah. It does make him an interesting doctor, though, if you're the patient, because he has yeah. that dual citizenship yeah. into the disease. Which yeah. is he said right. that it has really helped him now moving forward to really yeah. understand his patients right. better. Yeah. I can't cool. imagine that moment, though. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Starts checking yeah. out and oh, yeah. like, totally freaked He's out. He's like, this they device doesn't work. work. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. No, because you know it so well that yeah. when you see it, yeah. you're like, oh, oh no. no. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. Cool story, Kate. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.